What's up? This is Josh from Bluegrass Smokehouse. Today we're working with the Cavity H1 and we're going to be making a super delicious steak, a tomahawk steak. Today we're going to be cooking this tomahawk at about 650 degrees Fahrenheit. It'll take two or three minutes per side, so let's get started. All right, first we take our tomahawk chop. Put a little bit of olive oil on the top of it. Rub it in about like that. We're gonna take a little bit of coarse sea salt, sprinkle it on top. Nothing out of the ordinary here. All right, and then we're going to put our pepper on the top here. And then what I like to do is I like to take a few sprigs of fresh rosemary, kind of just lay them in there like that. This is more for just a hint of flavor, nothing outrageous. And we can do it to the other side as well. That's it. So, what are we going to serve with our tomahawk steak? We're gonna do some asparagus. Again, a very simple and fast recipe. Uh, we've blanched some asparagus here, as you can see. Next, we're gonna add a little bit more olive oil over the top. Maybe a little bit of butter. Some salt, a little bit of garlic, maybe a little bit more olive oil just so we don't burn the bottom of the pan. Same flavors, a little bit of rosemary on the top, and some pepper. To finish this off, we're going to take some freshly grated Parmesan cheese here, make a nice little mound like that, and then we're going to take some balsamic vinegar and also spread it over the top. Mix it up a little bit, make sure everything's covered. side dish is just about ready. All right, so to kick this off, we're gonna look at our temperature. It's at about 650 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna open up our cavity and take our asparagus mixture, put it right on the bottom there. It'll only take a minute, so don't worry about it. Next, we're gonna pull out the rack. We're gonna take our beautiful tomahawk that we let season for a few minutes like this for about two or three minutes a side. We want medium rare. I'm gonna take a little pat of butter, because why not? Butter doesn't hurt anything. Throw it on there and close the door. So we've had our tomahawk in here for about three minutes. Should be enough time for us to flip it. Take a look. Oh yeah. That is looking good. We're gonna take this chance to add a little bit more butter as we flip it. Take a look at our asparagus. Oof. Look at that. Restaurant quality asparagus in three minutes at home. All right, we'll be back in a second to see how our steaks turned out. All right, so it's been about two minutes. What I wanna do is I wanna take out my tomahawk, which looks fantastic. Uh, I wanna flip it one more time, put it directly on the bottom grate, shut the door. This last stage is only gonna take about 45 seconds per side. Mm. 
so stay with me. So now that we've had it directly on the fire for about 45 seconds, we're gonna take it out, flip it to the other side, just to finish it off. Man, that is coming along perfect. So, now that we've given both sides a lot of love, directly on the fire with the high heat, we're able to take it out and take a look at our work. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is an absolutely perfect looking steak. We're gonna give it a few minutes to rest. After that, we'll cut into it and see how well we did. So we've let this rest for a few minutes now. We're gonna cut into it just to take a look to see how well we've done. Oof. And that, my friends, is perfectly medium rare steak. So remember, please check out this recipe and others like it on Gevry's social media pages. Bye for now. We're gonna dig into this and enjoy. It's incredible how well your steak can come out at home. Simply using high heat. This machine's incredible.